Yeah, sick of dreaming of my old chick. Sick of being on some broke shit. Sick of showing no emotions. Got a nigga losing focus. So I'm going on a road trip. Got my bags packed with some dro lit during COVID. When I wrote this masterpiece, Magnum Opus. I ain't joking. I hope there's more for me. It costs to live. We can explore for free. Dreams of waking up on a gorgeous beach. Lazy. I never could have. The opinions expressed on this show does not reflect the ones of the Get Your Bars Up Media platform. Therefore, stay at your moist ass feelings and get your bars up, you bitch. In the words of Capology Facts, Holy Cell TV, that is. What up, bro? It's your boy BA for Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Ugh. So, I'm back up in this thing. Yes, I am back up in this thing. I know that I haven't been going live too often lately, but um, Battle Rap hasn't been giving me that feel, y'all. It hasn't been giving me that feel, just to be honest with you. Now, I've been a fan of the culture for a long time. Very, very long time. Been probably blogging actually on my blog and shit for about four years now you feel me so uh, i'm not i'm not i'm no spring chicken i've been around and i've been around for quite some time but why am i not getting this feel i guess it's because i'm looking at all i'm looking at everything outside looking in you feel me and the politics is just, it's just getting ridiculous the politics in the game is getting super duper ridiculous you feel me you got all of these motherfuckers from all over the place trying to come together battle rap and that's cool oversaturation we need it we need so many different battle rappers popping up because it, within all of those battle rappers we're gonna have a few that actually do rise up you feel me the cream the cream always rise to the top that's cool but then if you go outside of the battle rappers you have certain people that work for different leagues who are pretty much trying to Put a hold on the game and try to dominate it now i'm not the smartest man in the world but when it comes to this culture this sport isn't battle rap supposed to be for the culture i mean the 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 presentation aren't, aren't we as fans supposed to actually be able to pick who we want the stars to be opposed to the stars being pushed upon us i'm just saying and the only reason why I'm saying this is because I just been seeing a lot of foul stuff, and I and I know so many battle rappers behind the scenes. Some niggas that y'all think of stars, think of top tier. These are regular people that are super cool behind the scenes, dope individuals. They probably can't even speak up and talk, but I'm not gonna mention any names. But you got people in multiple different leagues who are help running these leagues who are trying to dominate the game by telling niggas what they need to do to get on with them specifically, the way that they physically look, how they should rap, pre uh, um, uh, how, um, how they should use props in their battles. This not, that's not battle rap, man. Come on. Is that battle rap? Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing right now? I don't understand. <laughs> I totally don't understand. Battle rap used to be a it used to be a place where a lot of people can go to just to listen to bars, listen to poetry. You feel me? Look at a performance. You feel me? I don't know about y'all, but I work at a medical center, right? So you got your woman slash family over here. Then you got your and then you got your your job slash whatever you do over here. So then you get tired of sometimes you want to step away from your lady and get some fresh air. Sometimes you need to step away from your job to get a clear state of mind. So what do you go to? You go to battle rap. At least that's what I did. Right? And it's a shame that the way that the game seems like it's moving, it's moving to a place that's like, it doesn't seem like it's like I can't say that it's not evolving because it is evolving, but it's evolving into something, into like a mutant that I don't know what the fuck. Like, it's, it's evolving into a motherfucking Swamp Thing. And yeah, I'm old school, so I'm going to say Swamp Thing. Some shit that's unrecognizable. You got all of these niggas, instead of niggas worried about their bars, right? 
Instead of niggas being worried about their bars, they getting put. They, they got these other niggas putting pressure on them to be something that they not. Just to try to sell some tickets. I thought bars was. I thought bars sold tickets. I thought originality sold tickets. Not being a puppet. Not being. Not, I gotta. I gotta show that I'm a blood. I gotta show that I'm a crip. I gotta show that. Uh, I gotta show that I'm a weirdo over here just so niggas can watch me. Da, da, da. We ain't doing that. Where your bar is at? And for these niggas that's in here that that's working with these leagues, manipulating the game and and and, and, and trying to apply pressure to these niggas that do got bars, but they want to be something else just to sell fucking tickets. You should be ashamed of yourself. You fucking up the game. What are you fucking up the game for? Because you want control? Does control make you feel like a man or do uh, does control make you feel like a leader? Just saying. BA, what you talking about, BA? What you talking about, man? You hey, you just all you do is break down bars, give your opinions. I do, but the culture is looking different. Real recognize real, but now the game is looking fucking unfamiliar. A hundred percent. And don't get me wrong. I rock with the URL. I rock with KOTD. I rock with uh, RBE. I rock with all the leagues. Shouts out to all the independent leagues. Shout out to all the people out there that's trying to push the culture forward. Salute to y'all. Like really salute to y'all. But the way that the game is moving right now is just, it's just different. You can't, Try to manipulate and try to stranglehold the game and make the source go directly through you because the game is not for you. It's for everyone. Get your money. Get your money. But I want to transition this to the battle rappers now. A lot of y'all battle rappers out there, right? We, as fans, want to see originality. And I guarantee a lot of y'all will make it out and make it ahead if you just be yourself. If just being yourself is not good enough, that means that you probably not, it's probably not meant to be. We need originality. This is why we rock with the murder mooks. This is why we rock with the loaded lux. This is why we rock with the hollow to dawn. This is why a verb is still on. This is why we still even fuck with Sue Surf. I know he choked, B, he choked. Nah, but he original. He's himself. And that's what the game is, and that's what it came from. So, battle rappers, just and this is strictly to y'all. I need y'all to bet on you. You bet on you, and you look into your craft, and you take this craft serious. Everything will work out. If it doesn't work out, that just means that this was not for you. You're just not meant to be a battle rapper. And for you that for all of y'all that think that you gotta be with one league just to get on and just to be big time, stop it. Stop it. Because if you are betting on yourself and you are and you do have the uh, you do have the means because you're good enough to go to all these different leagues and make noise and make classic. Uh, classic replay value material. These bigger these bigger leagues are gonna look for you. They're gonna come to you. Come on. Uh B is not that easy. Yeah, it is though. There's a lot of people out there still doing their thing. One person I bring up, just one person that I, I bring up right now goes by the name of the ward. Been traveling from league to league for a little minute. He hasn't been on our URL, and this is no slide to the URL because I support. I support every league that's trying to push the culture forward. But when it comes to the culture, just remember that the culture is for everyone. It's for everybody. Everybody who's trying to listen to these bars. But battle rappers, bet on yourself. Bet on yourself. If you believe in you, bet on yourself. Because if you start betting on everything outside of yourself, that means that's when you start losing that control of whatever happens to you. Because this is when niggas get put on the shelf. 
This is when niggas get put on an app. Because like I said, we are in an era, right? We are we are in the era where you have to if you put on a we're in an era where when you get put on a shelf, you feel me? You get put on a shelf, like you're stuck there. You are stuck there. And then a person can manipulate and control anything and everything you do, your moves. Here goes the contract, etc. Be with us for this long. This don't fuck with these other leagues. Nah. The word of the motherfucking this this motherfucking live is universal. Because that's what you're supposed to be. So bet on yourselves. And if you too, and, and if you feel like you need a crutch to get on somewhere and all of that stuff, that means that you're not working hard enough, period. Oh, B, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know how it is on the streets. You can say you can say this, you can say that, but I've seen so I've seen so many battle rappers do it. I've seen I've seen battle rappers like Chilla Jones start somewhere. People, some people know his name or whatnot. Then he gets put on the shelf, and then he ends up leaving. But then he ends up making a name for himself, and then the bigger leagues start calling him back. I've seen this happen with a young guy by the name of JC. I've seen it. It happens. And I'm not saying that these guys are that much better than you, but I can tell you one thing. These guys bet on themselves. And that's what happens. Geechee Gotti bet on himself. He can go rap wherever he want, low key. I understand they tell people try these leagues try to trick you with this oh loyalty and all of that shit. This ain't about loyalty because you're not treating niggas about this is about business and this is about getting yourself on. Period. Building your craft. Being universal. Why you ranting, B? I just want I just want that feel, man. I want that feel. Somebody asked me earlier today, do you think the game will ever be like it used to? Will, every, will things ever get back to normal? No, because nothing, nothing, I repeat, nothing in life ever stays the same. You either evolve or you devolve. But at the end of the day, uh, but at the end of the day, you change. Period. Never stay the same. So with that being said, I just want all this fraudulent bullshit to stop happening. I need all. I need when it comes to the league owners, uh, period, and the people who are working with these leagues, stop trying to manipulate the game in a negative way. Trying to motherfucking tell a nigga what he gotta wear and all of this shit. Nah. If anything, you should tell a nigga, get his bars up. Because that's what matters. People are going to say, oh, it's the appearance. Niggas don't want to see. Niggas, at the end of the day, niggas don't give a fuck about what you got on. Niggas just trying to hear what you got to say. Are you relatable? And if it ain't real, <laughs> we can tell. We can see it in your eyes. Talk. Y'all got me catching the battle rap Holy Ghost right now. But uh, like I said, once again, shouts out to all the leagues that are all the people, not just the leagues, but the people who are trying to push the culture forward um, and, and trying to elevate the elevate the culture from where it is now in a positive way. Shouts out to the big league. Shouts out to the smaller leagues. Shouts out to all of y'all. Shouts out to all the battle rappers. But like I said. All you motherfuckers that are in the game trying to manipulate the game and trying to control niggas, doing niggas dirty because you got some personal issue or because a nigga, you get mad at a nigga that's fired because you can't control him. What? What? Oh, I'm going to I'm going to give a nigga two weeks to rap. Nigga, this this trend, this makes me transition this whole thing into another conversation. Do y'all remember? Back in the day, when we used to actually appreciate battles, do y'all remember that? Do y'all remember when we used to have to wait a month and a half, a month, a month and a half to sometimes two months for battle events to come out? But then when they did drop on the YouTube app, when they did drop on the YouTube, 
We would watch them multiple times. We would study, break them down, break down the battles, et cetera, get clear headed. And we would actually know what a classic is. Do y'all remember those days? Now tell me, within the past year and a half, how many battles have you watched multiple times consistently? Tell me, the casual fan, tell me. Not too many. Why? Because another battle is being forced on you. Tell me when the last time you actually seen on a bigger league, on the biggest, the, all the bigger leagues in the world, somebody knew that you ain't never seen that was super duper fire that you wanted to really see again. I'm waiting. Exactly. Because not only the battle rappers are being manipulated, but the fans are being manipulated too. And now this is going to be directly for my brethren at the URL. I understand that you have the app and the app is cool. And I support, I've been supporting the app for quite some, since this day one, I've been supporting the app. I, I haven't canceled my whatever, even though I got, I got shouts out to my bootleg gods out there. I know I got them on deck, but I still support the app. But I'm going to need y'all to spice up the app or something. I'm going to need y'all to do something with this app because right now this app is not, it's not what it is. We watch all the battles for free. Then on top of that, we got the bootleg guys out there handling their business. And then you wait, and I don't know how you wait a minute, and then you drop the battles on the app when they're not even relevant because by the time this battle drops, we're watching. Uh, it's two events later, one or two events later. That doesn't make sense. What are we paying $8 for? Are you listening to us? Come on, Smack. Come on, Beasley. Come on, P. Come on, Chico. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Niggas, this, this, this app, the app is steaming more like a vault. The battles, we, we getting all of these other, we getting all of these battles that are dropping on the app that are not even really exclusive because everybody's already seen them before. The app is another vault. That's what it's looking like. Tell me if I'm wrong. That's what it's looking like. Do something about it. Stop getting mad at media for, for being constructive because this is all it is. This is we like most media still support the bigger leagues. But I'll be damned. As much money as I didn't put into this culture, I'll be damned if I if my word don't count, if I can't say shit about it and be constructive trying to build so i'm gonna speak my mind and i'm gonna talk my ish period with that being said url get your bars up when it comes to that app for sure come out get like like give us some battles that we want to see because it's already bad enough we're not able to appreciate a lot of the battles because every two weeks y'all are coming out with something different and that's cool that's cool but it's a thing called overstimulation of the mind and that's exactly what y'all are doing so i need y'all to get i need y'all to get it together and and i and i know that y'all got this deal with caffeine and i know it's a lot of people out there saying the only reason why y'all are doing it like this is because uh caffeine owns y'all for real <laughs> i don't know if they own you or not I'm not going to say they own you, but a lot of people are saying that. And I'm sure y'all are hearing that. So hopefully y'all can switch it up if if y'all still if y'all still run the league and y'all still care about the, what the fans think. If y'all still give a fuck about the fans, do something. Do something better. Do something better. Um, But outside of that, man, I can, I can talk about all the bullshit that's happening with ghost writing and all of that shit and all of that, like... It's so it's it's so crazy that battle rap these days, it's like we care more about the mess than we do the actual battles. That should tell a lot of you league owners something. That should tell y'all something. Battle rappers are starting to become bloggers now. <laughs> 
salute to y'all. Y'all should have been doing that shit. Y'all should have been doing that shit and salute to every salute to everybody that that hey that, that has their own platform that do battle rap. Salute to y'all because I support as many as as many of y'all as I can. But uh, yeah, the game is different. The game is super different, man. And I know I'm going on a long rant, and I know a lot of motherfuckers gonna uh, watch this and they might not like it. But it is what it is. I'm just telling. I'm just saying how I feel. As somebody that's been uh, that's been in the culture for a long time, like myself, that's probably new to a lot of people out there. Um, yeah, I'm going. I'm going to talk my ish, and I'm going to say my few cents. And I just want to see the game progress. I want to see it progress. I want to see the game go to another level. And I and, and I just don't. I don't. This this motherfucking gatekeeper. You got to go through this gauntlet, or I don't like you, or. Or nigga, since I don't since since you not listen to it, since you're not signed with a contract, even though you fire and shit, but you ain't go through this this rookie PG process, all of that shit, man. Come on. Come on. I understand. I understand. But then I don't. Contradiction to the fullest, right? But anyways, I gotta get up out of here. This your boy BA for real one hundred. This is get your bars up media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me, I rock with you. And if you're out there hating just because you think I'm a new guy and you just not stumbled upon my page and I've been doing this for a minute, <laughs> then all I can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, we got to get it together. We got to get it together. Battle rap is uh, awesome shit. Kwame Brown is like more interesting than battle rap right now. And I think that's an issue. I think that's a big issue. But until the next time, holla at your boy. Yeah, sick of dreaming of my old chick. Sick of being on some broke shit. Sick of showing no emotions. Got a nigga losing focus. So I'm going on a road trip. Got my bags packed with some dro lit during COVID. When I wrote this masterpiece, Magnum Opus, I ain't joking. I hope it's more for me. The cost to live, we can explore for free. Hey, yo, get your bars up, media, man. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah, <laughs> tell these niggas.